Hi, and welcome to the Packard Academy. I'm Rick Streaker, National Training Coordinator for Packard. So today we're going to talk about static pressure and the effect of static pressure on a condenser fan unit. Static pressure is the pressure on the system when the air is not flowing, when it's static. It's typically measured in the inches of water column. As we add static pressure to this, it will affect the performance of the fan, and that's what we want to check today. So Aaron, let's take a look at the amps and show the effect of the static pressure. Aaron, what we'll do is we'll use the amp meter and put it on the lead of the motor. That will show us the amps, which gives us an indication of the performance of the motor. Now with a fan blade, such as a condenser fan motor, as we add static pressure, we add load to the motor. So we would expect that as the static pressure goes up, our amps on the motor are going to go up. If we remove static pressure on a condenser fan motor, we'll see that the load of the motor is less and the amps go down. It's just the opposite effect with a blower as it is with a fan. So Aaron, what we're going to do, we're going to look at the amps, then we're going to cover it to simulate adding static pressure. First of all, let's see what our amps are with no added static pressure. 1.05 amps as it is. So now we'll add static pressure. This will simulate if we had dirty coils or if we put bushers or shrubs around the condensing unit. So we'll, we'll cover this partially, Aaron, and then we'll look at the amps. And I'll get some readings for you, from you in just a second. But we'll see that as we add static pressure, the amps are going up. And then as we remove that static pressure, the amps will drop. Now we'll add additional static pressure to the top. First of all, Aaron, let's just see if it uh, moves up and down. Are the amps going up? Are they dropping? And when we take the cover off the side, they dropped? Yes. So the impact of static pressure to the condenser fan motor, as I add static, the amps go up. As I remove static, the amps go down. With the motor, the amps should never exceed 10% above nameplate, and they never should be more than 25% below nameplate. Well, thanks for participating in the Packard Academy today. For more information on fan blades and blower wheels and other topics, visit our website at PackardOnline.com. Also see us on YouTube. Thanks a lot.